on this week's City Skylines 2 o'clock. Are some biomes being deliberately withheld? Turning over a new leaf? Will time progression actually work? And where is everyone? All this and much, much more with this week's special guest, Larry Skylines. Hey, Bon Bon. Hello, everyone. Thanks for having me uh, back on. Uh, really good to have you along. It sounds like you're having a rough time over there. <laughs> Why, yes. Uh, something is causing my dog to bark here once in a while. I'm not sure what, but uh, I might hear some yips and yaps in the background. Well, it's not a worry. Not a worry. Real life takes precedence. Anyway, this week we saw the real-life release of the 8th installment of the Dev Diaries for City Skylines 2. This time it was all about the climate, seasons and the weather. Now while it wasn't the most feature-packed release, there were some new announcements. Um, we'll start with the climate. Now if you didn't see the, um, the release, uh, expanding what we already know, there are three basic climate types, being temperate, continental and polar. Temperate will have a moderate rainfall and a wide temperature range, so I imagine warm summers and cold winters. Continental has significant annual variations, so some years will be hot, others will have long chills. And polar, with short summers and long winters. So it looks like all basic climate types will have some sort of snow support at some level. But they also say that during cold months, snow falls on maps which include cold seasons, which suggests that there will be other climate types. My first question is therefore, do you think we can expect desert, tropical and subtropical maps from the off? And if not, what on earth is going on? Um, you know, I think we can. Yeah, it's getting rough in here. Uh, <laughs> Well, I think it, it, it looks like maybe not right off from the beginning, but it sounds to me like that's something they could certainly include later on in a DLC, um, uh, would be my guess. Uh, there's no reason not to include that in some way, shape, or form. So um, hmm. I, I, I think we're in a, a wait and see on that one. Yeah, it's going to be, I think, a little disappointing for some, especially those that like doing things like the Indian Ocean Maldives-style island bills. There were, there were some very famous ones on YouTube. And so people that wanted yeah, to do that. Yeah, the tropical will, sorry, the tropical yeah. will definitely be missed yeah. um, from the start if that's not there. And there's no reason not to include a tropical uh, climate, as they're calling it now. Um versus themes and so forth but it, but yeah as far as deserts and the other things i, I that's probably down the road I, I i don't see why they would not do that yeah I, th I think you're right with the um with the tropical that it, it probably should be included in some way we did have someone and i feel sorry my friend if i've forgotten your name uh you were in the live chat um i think it was on on monday and uh, you, you were from Brazil, and you were saying exactly how the uh, the climate and how the, how the seasons work in Brazil. And basically, there are just two seasons. Basically, it's either hot or it is wet, and there is no in between. And uh, and so, yeah, how it looks like they've set up the um, the climate and the seasons doesn't look like it's going to allow for that um, from the off. But let's hope that I'm wrong, and certainly don't want any snow landing in Rio de Janeiro, not just yet, anyway. Yeah, hot and wet, that's a good way to describe what we've seen so far. <laughs> Indeed. Hey, right, let's um, let's uh, move on. Now, um, so one, one little thing that was mentioned, and I guess this is a nice thing, okay? I don't know if it really required an announcement, but uh, a quick nod to those watching from the Southern Hemisphere, such as, I guess, Brazil and Australia. They're inverting the seasons so that June is in the winter and December the start of summer. So uh, I guess that might also be a hint. We could be seeing some Australian or Brazilian or Peruvian themes coming along. Yeah, and there's no reason not to include Southern Hemisphere in this. Um we in the screenshots and whatnot you see like northern hemisphere described didn't see anything southern hemisphere but mm. yeah it's like they're missing i don't know what like half the world if they don't 
Well, th this is yeah, this is one thing that we uh, we know that we've got European style buildings, so we've got North American style buildings. Very generic phrases because there is no such thing as a North American style building, and no such thing as a European style building. The uh, you can tell if you're not in the UK by the sort of buildings that you've got around you and so on. So, uh, and we are still technically, we haven't drifted away from Europe so much that uh, we, we shouldn't be included. But um, uh, th yeah, if you're anywhere outside of those two areas, I don't think City Skylines 2 is really going to appeal. Yeah, it's kind of curious that they chose that. I, I suppose that's the two biggest markets for the game. Yeah. Um, but it also, you know, just, it, I think it leaves the door open for uh, other styles. So I, I guess another wait and see type of thing <laughs> if they yeah. expand on that at all. So, yes. So now we all got a little bit excited when we heard that seasons were going to be in the game. I don't think we were really, from experience, from the amount of views that my Snowfall map reviews got, I don't think people were particularly excited for snow. Some people will be, but most people, I think they would be wanting the snow to go away as quickly as it can. I think what most people are most excited about with the um, the seasons is the a change of the colours in the trees. So um, we know from the images, we know the images are from beta gameplay or beta gameplay, I guess. Uh, it's noticeable that there isn't any snow on the trees or on any of the buildings in any of those images. But I do suspect that this is something that they could, can add in before release. However, regarding the life cycle of the trees, they have all previously mentioned that trees will grow up from saplings. So we know that there's some kind of evolution of trees. But what about deciduous trees? Will they actually shed their leaves in the winter? Will we actually see leaves on the ground? Or will they transition? Will there be bare branches in the winter and green shoots in the winter? Uh, and if not, will the magic of having seasons be completely lost? I think it would be completely lost if they don't expand on all those things that you just mentioned. Um, personally i would love to see the leaves change color in the autumn uh, i mean and trees blooming in the spring you know and they have flowering trees and so forth that, that flower and you know it it would be very beautiful it would it, it would make it incredible It'd be a very beautiful element to the game um you know one of the things you know when um plazas and promenades came out and those wall-to-wall -wall buildings and a lot of people um kind of railed on that you know it was kind of like you you loved them or you hated them type of thing it seemed um and and i loved them because i had the opportunity to inject some color that would pop uh into the game that wasn't like a billboard or a rotating clown head or something <laughs> <laughs> it, it was it it I, I love that part of it, and that's exactly what could happen in autumn and springtime in seasons, you know, as you could have these pops of color and see the see it evolve. And that's what I would love to see. Um, trees lose, lose their leaves, yes. Uh, as far as snow and things like that on the trees, um, there's some pretty janky looking trees and tree animations and whatnot in these videos. And yeah, it, it's beta builds, and it's I'm sure that's like the last thing that they're going to focus on. Um, fixing you know out of all the gameplay that we've seen yeah i think you hit on the big point there with the color there's the the game the game we know in the winter is going to be strikingly different the, obviously again depending on the map if we're, if we're doing rio de janeiro i don't want any snow but if we're just doing a standard say we're doing chicago why i chose chicago i don't know so we're doing chicago let's say there's thick snow in the winter there's beautiful summer uh, sunshine having the color transitions will really make this game stand out and for that we're gonna need to see the beautiful greens coming up in the spring making it feel like life is being just brought into the city with those dead trees now literally coming up with color and then the transition at the end of summer with the the it's it could be absolutely stunning and there's not a hint not a hint that this is actually included in the game. I'm hoping it is. I really do hope it does because it will just elevate this game. Elevate it so much. Yeah. 
absolutely. So, that that would be I one thousand percent agree with you, and that would be so much better to see and focus on rather than uh heating and air conditioning needs for the buildings in the city. <laughs> you know, I mean we've already dealt with the heating needs if we've played snowfall and I just hope that when it does change the winter and it snows on the map that it's not like snow for the entire winter you know because in most places unless you live at the north pole or the south pole uh you know it snows and after a few days it all melts it goes away depending on how much snow you got and then it may snow again and then it melts and it goes away mm. and you know the snow comes and goes throughout the winter you know it doesn't like all of a sudden here's winter and everything's white and it's that way until spring yeah um, so if they can get those little parts of it right then the seasons will be incredible um if it's just kind of generic bland it's you know it's everything's green or everything's white then it's it it will have been a complete missed opportunity and it will probably upset a lot of people yeah yeah Right, well, if we move on from seasons and move on to time, time, the most precious commodity. So for those that enjoyed playing the the original game with the real-time mod, the new Living City, I think, will be a big draw. Because there is so much that draws from the real-time mod and everything is on the clock and everything is going through routine. So people getting up in the morning, going to school, going to college, going to work, going shopping, um, going going to the store, they're, they're going to have a, rest, uh, a meal at a restaurant. All of these things uh, it won't be just random. They're going to be at times when people would be able to go and do these things. So we're going to have the peaks of traffic. We're going to have the peaks of power consumption. We know all of these things are going to happen. But compromises clearly have to be made between having a true simulation and the product being an enjoyable game. Thus, the real time in City Skylines 2 has been tweaked. On normal speed, one day, uh, a one day night cycle is one whole month in the game. So the sun rises at, on the 1st of January, the sun sets on the 31st of January. And this will take approximately one real world hour to pass on standard speed. Of course, if you want to go faster, you can triple that speed. So if one month is one whole day, a whole season will last for three days and a whole year will last for 12 full days or 12 hours in game play. How do you think this will actually affect the game mechanics um, in terms of um, placing down, for example, a, a uh, fire station and you're going to get that effect of fire engines going past buildings and that's how everything spreads out? What if you don't actually have a fire engine have to go past a certain area? They may not get any fire coverage perks for months. It's... Uh... Yeah, it's kind of hard for me to, to envision and figure out how this is going to work without actually experiencing it or, or, or seeing it. Um, as far as the one day night cycle equals a month, um, it, it certainly will be interesting and I think fun to deal with the traffic peaks and things like that going on um, in the morning and then the evening rush hour and so forth and that, and that they're actually going to follow a schedule and you know it just makes me think of uh the whole after dark dlc and and now you know you see people maybe transitioning from work to some nightlife type assets and hopefully those things are um in the game or more will become available and you can create your little you know, downtown nightclub district, things like that, and and watch these different things come alive in your city. I think uh, that would be incredible. Um, but yeah, just the, the one day night cycle being a, uh, an entire month, and it just, uh, that makes me scratch my head a little bit because I have a hard time wrapping my brain about or around that. But mm. I also envision some streamers on Twitch doing like an epic. 12 hour stream and going through like a, an entire year of city skylines i could i, I could I, see yeah, that i think that's i could see that happening too <laughs> definitely gonna happen isn't it definitely gonna happen 
But yeah, um, I, I mean, now you have to make some allowances. You, you know, we can't have one day equals one day. Well, you can, but I don't know how many people will be continue playing the game. So you've got to make, I, I th one day equals a whole month seems a bit, I don't know, a bit heavy. And so yeah. I, maybe one, one day being a week. So what? Yeah, one. Yeah, one day being a week is more plausible, I guess. You know, when are people going to have a vacation? <laughs> if you've had there's only twelve days a year, <laughs> when are you going to have a vacation? <laughs> yeah, you know, and I don't, I also wonder, you know, how much they tested this, or if they um, tried to make it things go by in more type, you know, real time, or you know, one day night cycle was less than a month, and was this a happy medium as far as gameplay is concerned? Because you know, I guess you got to think about the different style of plays, and there are people who are going to play, want to want to play and build their cities faster, and others who would, you know, build on the same map for a couple of years. And so, yeah, it's, I don't know, maybe are we able to, are we going to be able to slow things down? But yeah, mm. I would kind of like to see that day night cycle turn over faster than a month. Yeah, we we will see. We will, I mean, may it may. I mean, the modders are going to come along, aren't they? Yeah, uh, there's uh, going sure to be a mod. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right. So that's time. The uh, the other one that I think we 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 kind of already aware of is with natural disasters. But until this week, we didn't know specifically what we were going to get. So these have been revealed as being hailstorms, forest fires, tornadoes, and to some small degree, a prolonged snowfall. So what are your thoughts on those three? Are they a, are they a good balance of natural disasters? Oh, forest fire? Um, yeah, that's probably the most realistic one here. Um, tornadoes are fairly specific to certain climates. And I, I think it's a little bit funny and ridiculous at the same time that all the imagery we have of tornadoes happens in like these clear blue skies or you know, <laughs> bright you know that doesn't make any sense to me um one of the other things they yeah they talk about it is hailstorms and looking at the 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 dev diary the in the the features that they actually have written out it says when the weather is cold but not freezing there is a possibility of a hailstorm occurring hmm. and i just wonder does anyone there know how hail is formed because <laughs> Hail does not come from cold weather. No. Hail comes from thunderstorms. I mean, if you want to inject hail into it, you need to have thunderstorms. Yeah. And that has to come first, you know, and with the tornadoes as well. Yeah. You know, just, just give me thunderstorms, you know, some hail, okay. The occasional tornado, yeah, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> but, well, I, you know, it, it's, I guess at least we don't have, you know, the, the meters, meteors, punching through the atmosphere and, and creating craters in the in the ground because that, yeah, you know, that, that was insane yeah that, that was you know it goes along with the donut and hot dog vans i this guess is you know, true. As far as... <laughs> this is true but no you know, kind I, of yeah. kind of the the cartoony stuff but yeah and so far the all the imagery that i've seen so far of the tornadoes is is pretty terrible so hopefully you know yeah. they clean it up i don't know and maybe they have the tornado and hailstorms happen with actual storms? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't think it's going to be the hardest thing for them, especially with the tornadoes, to key that in to trigger when it is heavily overcast. I, I imagine that's not a not a massive difficult coding issue. But then, what do I know with no experience? Right, moving on, moving on. The event <clears throat> journal. Wait, I don't want to move on yet. With tornadoes, we're going to need <laughs> storm chasers. Oh, yes. You know, these ridiculous guys driving around in their trucks with their yellow lights, you know, chasing tornadoes. And maybe What's... one of them will get sucked up and spit out across the map somewhere. It's a, it's a bigger map, so there is definitely room for chasing now. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, event journals. Event journals. Will anyone ever use these? I'm sorry. Uh, oh, sorry. I think <laughs> I, I nodded off there. For oh, a second. bless you. On. What was yeah. that? Uh, the event journals. The event journals. When the natural disasters are going to be logged in. Will anybody? Uh, 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 moving on. Moving on. 
moving on. Cities <laughs> that show very little traffic in the screenshots that we've seen so far. Uh, it has been mentioned multiple times. Is this just that this is very early gameplay or do we think there is a bigger problem afoot that still has to be resolved by the devs? No, all those people are at home remotely operating their motorcycles. I mean, this is cities <laughs> of the future. They all, they're all, nobody goes out for motorcycle rides anymore at this point. They just put on their VR headset and uh, pretend they're on a motorcycle ride. And that's why we see all these driverless motorcycles around the city. And that is, that. this is um, known. This is fact. This is a fact, is it? We know this. <laughs> yep, I think so. <laughs> Drone motorcycles being yep. uh, controlled by Wi-Fi. Well, well, I mean, why not? Why not? We ha now have internet in our cities, so why not drone motorcycles? Exactly. Right. So, well, we've, we've still got some time to fill, which is a great opportunity for you to tell me what is going to happen in your channel. On my channel, actually, well, I had that... Um... That last video I, I, I made, uh, kind of a, a jokey little video, um, it's something that started out as a joke and then I, I, I built it out uh, on the, the map, uh, Miu or Milau or however you want to pronounce it, that Teddy Radko made. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm going to have a follow-up to that. Um, just the, the airport with two, run two runways was not quite enough because that is a big old bridge on there. So it is a big obviously old there's plenty of room for expansion and other things. And so um, I, I've been recording a lot of the video and I just need to get to the audio um, and, uh, and put it all together, edit it. And I'm hoping to get that done uh, this weekend. So look for that coming up next oh really looking forward to seeing that it was it was a great build i'm, I'm loving it. it's so memey i do love a meme build <laughs> uh, as for me with Thank my you. meme build i'm still working on my final ever map for city skylines one uh live streaming every now and then keep your eye open and all the old live streams are available under the live button tab but that's going to be it from us this week if you'd like to say ta-ra bye bye thanks bonbon bon. there you go and it's a goodbye from me thanks for watching hit the like button and we'll see you again very very soon ta-ra